Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to work out the formulas of ionic compounds. In the last video we saw that we can use the periodic table to work out the ions formed by a number of elements. We also looked at several polyatomic ions that you need to learn. So in this video we're going to look at how we can put all of this together. I'm showing you here the name of an ionic compound. This is zinc oxide. We've already seen that zinc forms the ion Zn2+, and that's an ion that you need to learn. Oxygen is in group 6 and forms the oxide ion with a 2 minus charge. Now the key fact that you need to learn is that in ionic compounds, the charges of the individual ions must cancel out to produce an overall charge of 0. So look at zinc oxide, we can see that the 2 plus charge on the zinc ion is cancelled out by the 2 minus charge of the oxide ion. So the compound has an overall charge of 0. This means that the formula of zinc oxide is ZnO. And remember that we never write the charges on the ions when we write the formula of an ionic compound. Here are some examples for you to try. We've got ammonium nitrate, lithium sulfide and aluminium oxide. In each case you'll need to find out the ions involved and then work out the formula of the compound. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the ammonium ion has a charge of 1 plus and the nitrate ion has a charge of 1 minus. This means that ammonium nitrate has the formula NH4NO3. The lithium ion has a charge of 1 plus and the sulfide ion has a charge of 2 minus. So the formula of lithium sulfide is Li2S. And finally, the aluminium ion has a charge of 3 plus and the oxide ion has a charge of 2 minus. This means that the formula of aluminium oxide is Al2O3. Coming up, we're going to look at using brackets in a formula. OK, I'm showing you another ionic compound here. This is magnesium hydroxide. The magnesium ion has a charge of 2 plus, and the hydroxide ion has a charge of 1 minus. This means that we need two hydroxide ions to balance the charge on the magnesium ion. So the formula of magnesium hydroxide is MgOH2. Now, you'll notice that this formula contains brackets, and the key thing to remember is that the little number to the right of the brackets multiplies everything inside the brackets. Now, if I don't include the brackets, then we get this formula instead. This formula means that the compound contains one magnesium, one oxygen, and two hydrogens, and this is wrong. OK, I'd like you to work out the formula of the ionic compound calcium nitrate, and this formula will need brackets. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the calcium ion has a charge of 2 plus, and the nitrate ion has a charge of 1 minus. This means that we need two nitrate ions to balance the charge on one calcium ion. And the formula of calcium nitrate is Ca, open brackets, NO3, close brackets, 2. OK, so hopefully now you can work out the formulas of ionic compounds. 